New at uh, 10, uh, Milwaukee County's district attorney explains why it's going to take even longer for a decision in the police shooting of Dontre Hamilton. And it's actually been five months now since Hamilton was shot and killed by a Milwaukee police officer in Red Arrow Park. 12 News' Terry Sater is live at the park tonight. And Terry, Hamilton's family wants the officer criminally charged in this case. They held a vigil and a march here tonight, Craig, and repeated their demands that the officer be held accountable. But the district attorney says he's not ready with a decision yet. Five months later, it's just been too long uh, to not have answers. I don't want to give a timeline right now. It's going to be done as quickly as we possibly can. Milwaukee County District Attorney John Chisholm criticized again by the family of Dontre Hamilton, who was shot and killed by a Milwaukee police officer in Red Arrow Park in April. A candlelight vigil marked five months since his death. To not be respected enough after an officer shoots our brother, our, you know, my mom's son, 14 times. Um, we're just like appalled at how long this has taken. Chisholm says he needs more time to decide if the officer will face criminal charges. The FBI, U.S. Attorney, and others are being consulted. These are national experts, people that, that have testified on both sides, whether it's for the police or against the police, and I want them to review everything and give me a completely independent opinion on the use of force issue. Police also put protest organizers on notice before the vigil. We can no longer tolerate blocking of freeways or blocking of intersections, and that if that were to occur, that uh, as a last resort, we would make arrests. We want to be able to respect our community, get our community to come out and join us along the wall. We don't want to um, make them mad. We don't want to irritate them. The Hamilton family and protest organizers cooperated with police tonight. They marched but did not block drivers, and there were no arrests. They say they are frustrated. There's still no decision on whether the officer will face charges. Live in Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WICN 12 News.